Hello everyone and welcome back to Warrior Cats The Untold Tales and we are here with Thimbleweed and Spot Ridge with our tiny little adoptive kitten feather clan where we are taking care of Hope Kit, Brave Kit, and Joy Kit, the secret kittens of the Wind Clan medicine cat who Spot Ridge used to be an apprentice of and they've been doing a very good job of keeping the kittens alive and well. Thimbleweed's talent for collecting so many feathers from all over the world and bringing them back to his little den that we have hidden here inside of our little bramble uh little gramble clearing has actually turned out to be pretty useful because it helps us to keep the kits warm and today we are going to be kept somewhat busy with a new task because today our random events are that we can only hunt in shadow clan and if we go anywhere near the dump we have to fight the cats who show up at the dump and also we have a special food event where the kits will be able to share a frog. If we can catch even one frog, then the kits will be very happy and they will eat that frog and we won't have to worry about having lots and lots of extra food for them. And that means we would have bonus food that we could possibly put down to attract new kittens into our clan because any of the new cats, unless it's a special event, who end up coming and joining our clan will be little kits that we can take care of and adopt in our little, our little feather clan full of kittens. So all right, that's enough to keep us quite busy. Well, that's Spot Ridge's uh, intelligence that has let us know that the kits are very hungry and craving frogs. So if we can fetch a frog, then they're going to be very satisfied for the day. But first things first, we have to feed the clan. So let's see. All right, we have a squirrel, we have some of the thrushes, and we have several mice, which are probably more like mice popsicles at this rate. So let's go ahead and give the kits the squirrel. So we're going to eat that to get rid of it. And then we will share one bird. So we'll go ahead and eat, uh, well, I'll leave one bird here for the kids to be able to play with the feathers. And we will eat one last bird. And then we'll leave a spot ridge here to take care of the kittens. And let's see. So that gives us, how many mice do we have? It looks like we have about six mice. So we have quite a few mice. That's enough to feed the whole clan for the next day. So if we wanted to, we could try leaving down some extra prey tonight and bringing in a, a new cat potentially to our clan. We'll have to think about that because we also have an, almost enough birds here. Hmm. In fact, we have enough food to feed us for two more days. <gasps> Yay! All right. So maybe we'll go gather some feathers and maybe we'll also go look for uh, some more prey. If we have an abundance of prey, whoops, let's run away from there. If we have an abundance of prey, then I might feel confident enough to be able to try inviting some new kittens into the clan. And also we'll have to see, maybe Thimbleweed will work on some of his legacy areas where we collect up special items and we leave them sprinkled throughout the world so that we can have him leave uh, his paws a little imprint of permanent history. Like over here where we've got this little this little bush full of feathers. I forgot we were working on this, but I want to leave it behind because eventually Thimbleweed's little kits are going to grow up and his legacy will be passed over and we will be switching. Run! Run! We'll be switching to some of the other cats from some of the other clans. All right. Dash, Thimbleweed, dash. Okay, and we are safely, if you could call it that, inside of Shadow. <gasps> A frog! A frog! Oh my gosh, the kids will be so happy if we can catch this frog. All right, can we get it? Are we gonna be able to get him? Ah, I am not very good at hunting. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be looking for a frog for the kids to eat here. But I am very excited, guys. So I have finally found where my random generator pile went. A lot of you guys are like, Siri, where has Untold Dales been? And it's because I forgot where I put my random generators, guys. <laughs> I finally found the piece of paper I wrote them down on. That is definitely, oh, what's this? Oh, it's a mouse. Yes, I found another mouse. But it definitely is a lesson to me to actually maybe make a good website for our random generators to go down on so that I won't lose them again. Oh, what's this? Is this a frog by any chance? It's a frog! Thimbleweed found a frog! Oh, the kids will be so happy. Oh gosh, I wonder if I should go back now. I mean, we already have one frog and we already have a mouse. And the only, I roll to see where we can hunt for the day. Oh, it's another frog! Oh my gosh, the kids would be so happy if I can get another frog. And, ah, oh, he got away. Dang it. I roll to see where we can hunt for the day, and Shadow Clan's territory is the only one that we can hunt in because all the other territories are too highly patrolled. I roll to see what kind of special event we have and what kind of impact it will have, and that's going to be a food event, food related event, thus the frogs. Yes! Another one! The frogs for the kits. So one frog 
until the episode is over. We'll feed all of the kits for once, which is kind of nice. Yes, all right, and... All right, we got another one, which means we can leave down some of the frogs as prey. Can we wiggle over here? Oh my goodness, we don't want to wiggle over there. We're gonna wiggle away from there, actually. And now my inventory's full, so I guess Thimble would be very happy. Let's run back. We'll deliver the little frog as a gift to the young kits. And then I, so one for where we're allowed to hunt for the day. And then I roll, dash across. I roll another, um, oh geez, Coco's over here. I roll another generator to see where, like what kind of event. And today was a food related event. Another one to see how severe the event was. And it's just a little lighthearted event. And then a final one, a fourth one to figure out which clan we have to battle if we run into that clan's cats for the day. And it turns out that the only cats we have to battle for today are any cats we meet at the dump. So location specific. And Coco, what do you have to say about the world? I, I'm really happy with our name, actually. So we're gonna ignore Coco for now. Oh, and I want that feather. All right, we're gonna bury this mouse and snag this feather because Thimbleweed would always take feathers first. But yeah, I'm sorry Untold Tales has not been around for quite a while, guys. It has just been chaotically busy. Those of you who are always wondering, where's Untold Tales? Where's Warriors? Make sure you guys are checking the comment section or the, um, the update vlogs that we have every single week. I try to put out an update vlog to let you know what's going on behind the scenes in my life in case scheduling has gotten kind of wonky. But I'm very happy to be able to bring you hopefully enough Untold Tales all the way through the end of May to enjoy Joy, and we can dive back into the stories of our awesome cats. Let's see, can I get a little sip of this? There we go. And hopefully we'll have some through, like I said, the entirety of May. And rolling into July is actually when the Cat Tales game is going to be coming out in its alpha form. So there's going to be a lot of glitches and silly moments, but I think a lot of you guys will enjoy the finished product for Cat Tales because there'll be a lot more to do than um, some of the stuff that's offered in Untold Tales. I still love Untold Tales. I still love our Sims 3 Legacy, but I think you guys are going to very much enjoy the surprises of what's coming up over there. All right, so let's see if we have a new kit who might end up joining the family tonight. Um, I'll gather up. I could have put down that bramble inside now that I think about it. All right, let's wiggle this way. I want to put or this thicket. So I'm going to put the thicket... You know what? Maybe I'll just drop the moss right here and I will drop one frog right there. We have two frogs that we can feed on in the morning. And we're going to go ahead and go to bed and we're going to see if we get a new kitten into Feather Clan. And... Nope. <laughs> Darn, no new kitten in Feather Clan, but at least we still have a frog, so we can go ahead and eat one frog. That's actually going to fill up all three kits today. And then I will eat one thrush to fill up the two adult cats. Whoops, I need to eat it. There we go. And that will fill up the two adult cats. So Spot Ridge and Thimbleweed are just curled up eating their thrush for the morning, kind of talking about what they're going to do. The hunting is still best over in. Let me go ahead and destroy this. There we go. The hunting is still going to be best over in Shadow Clan, and I think that Spot Ridge would insist that Thimbleweed maybe goes and tries to do a little more hunting, even if Thimbleweed maybe wants to focus on just like adding brambles and decorating the area around their clan camp. But yeah, I hope you guys are looking forward to Cat Tales. Let me know if you are. I know a lot of you are super duper loyal just to Untold Tales, and that's totally fine too. And then, of course, our Sims 3 Warrior Cats Challenge. It's just so much work for me, but the support for it is amazing. So we'll be returning to it at some point, too. All right, Thimbleweed. You're not like Apple Star. You're not throwing yourself into every single battle out there. He likes to play it a lot safer. But it's kind of nice to know he'll have a chance to, like, gather up all of these little mossy pieces and kind of scooch them around and make nice little forest zones so that any cats who inherit his save file will be able to just enjoy such a gorgeous world. All right, we'll even move some of the fever few back here. Quite the little artist, little gardener or thimbleweed. He kind of reminds me a lot of lizard paw in some ways. All right, there we go. We can work on that later. Ah, there's another feather! That's what we're really on the lookout for. Thimbleweed is supposedly working his way over to Shadow Clan territory for more hunting, but of course he has to stop and check for feathers. All right, let's see. And we can't hunt here today because our event says we can only hunt in Shadow Clan territory, which is a bit of a fun challenge. All right, and he'll go ahead and leave his feather right here to come back to. 
And now... Okay. Don't die, don't die, don't die! He made it! Thank goodness! Oh, and we gotta get out of here! Okay, well, we could go and raid. Ah, oh, should we raid the dump? Let's raid the dump, guys. The thing is that the dump is really well defended today. So if we run into any cats at the dump, we have to fight our way free. But we didn't see anybody while we were there. So maybe if we're really fast about it. All right, no cats yet. No cats yet. Okay, what about over here? No cats over here just yet. Is there any food? I don't see any food. Okay. Yes, all right, so we made it out of here with two squirrels and no fights. I will totally take that every day of the week. That's uh, really nifty. Dimbleweed, I wonder if he's gonna find anything. Ah, oh my gosh, run! <laughs> at least it wasn't at the dump, so I don't have to fight them. Oh no! Oh, no, you stole my bush! Oh, there's two of them! Night, pelt, uh, night paw and mist pelt, oh boy. All right, what if I just defend myself anyway? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, don't kill them. Okay, thank goodness. Good job, Thimbleweed. All right, so I don't think he expected that battle, but he must have been spotted while he was grabbing the food from the dump and chased down. All right, let's see what else he can get up to. But yeah, I hope you guys are okay with all the random generators I use. I love Untold Tales so much for how amazing it has been for our community, but it definitely is, ah, ah, we're being fought again. Stone Moss, Shade Claw. All right, can I do this? Can I do this? Battle, 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 battle. Okay, we got that one. Thimbleweed. You might have to get out of Shadow Clan territory, Thimbleweed. Okay, oh, thank goodness. He's actually a pretty good fighter. <laughs> kind of like gasping for breath, but I think fighting for his life has helped the Thimbleweed to remember that part of the reason he is here is because the kits also fight for their lives and that this world is not a gentle place. That's why he's actually hiding the kits and making sure that they're not exposed since the kit's father, Courage Fur, actually threatened to kill them. And so he's protecting them. Oh, geez. See, here I am about to say, but you know, oh, it's a dog. Holy days. How about no? Oh my gosh. Run. <laughs> oh, ah. Okay. Oh my gosh. There's a lot going on. Thimbleweed, are you okay? <laughs> I'm rude. I can't believe we almost got bit by a dog. There, oh, and there's a frog. All right, let's grab this frog. The kids will be very, very happy. They're just in the mood to eat frog lately for some reason. But you know what? I, I need to give our stories, especially the role play that you guys do in the comments more credit because holy moly, you guys come up with some really creative things. Let's see, anything in here? I think the movie would probably be ready to go home having gotten so much prey. All right, anything over here? Actually, we can check. Okay, so there's something up here. Uh, it's another frog. I could bury it at least. Ah, I got away. All right, so let's start wiggling towards home. Cool mushrooms everywhere. And then Thimbleweed can proudly show off his hunting skills to Spot Ridge. I imagine he's actually gaining a lot of strength as the days go by. And he's able to show Spot Ridge that he's actually improved quite a bit as a hunter and as a provider for their little clan. Let's see. One of his things, though, is that he does dash across the road. I wonder if he'd, like, kind of wait. How long will it be before we can dash across again, though? Well, we'll spend a little time drinking from the not-so-great-tasting Shadow Clan water. Sniffing the plants. When will the cooldown come by? Alright, maybe we'll just have to walk across? I hate the risk that that would do, but it may take too long to wait. Maybe we could try a little hunting. Oh, there we go. All right, now he has the energy. That's kind of a fun little story twist, though, to say that he can only dash across roads. And we could say that if he can't dash, then he's too tired to have the speed to safely cross Thunderpath. Gosh, and here I was ready to just like go on and on about how Cattails is going to offer so much and it will offer so much more in terms of the story and in terms of what we can do because Untold Tales as a fan-made game does have a very strict structure of what we do. That's why I have the random generators and I use them so much and we freeform build our stories in such a way. But if you feel things are repetitive, I just wanted to reassure you guys that we will be moving into Cattails and trying it out and we will be returning and doing quite a bit of work in let's see, let's get that frog out there and try a mouse to attract a young kit that might help us out all right we'll drop this we'll go ahead and drop the frog so the kids will be happy in the morning okay we'll drop this frog we'll grab a mouse we'll drop it right here and we'll see if we can end up with a new kitten but we will be returning to 
Uh, the Sims 3 Warrior Cats Challenge, it just takes me seven hours per episode to make. And since I'm leaving for Taiwan in five days, I don't have enough time to do that, but it is on the schedule for summer. So I wanted to reassure all of you about that. All right, and let's get a little drink from our nice little moss. Picked our moss up instead, whoops. And we'll get a nice little drink from it. And then let's go ahead, check in on everybody. Hope Kit, Brave Kit, Joy Kit. I feel like the Thimbleweed's sad he didn't bring more feathers. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, go to sleep and see if we have any luck attracting a new kitten in the morning. Nope. <laughs> All right, still no new kitten, but that's okay. I think that we're doing really good. And I actually think it is the last day of Leaf Bear. And so on the first of New Leaf, the kits are going to become apprentices. And once they become apprentices, you guys, that means that we will be able to take them out and we will have to help them train and learn how to go hunting. And I would love to hear how you guys choose to train your apprentices and change them into warriors in your clan. If you have any nifty tips or cool ways that you play out your game, please let me know because I would love to hear about it. And again, if you guys are worried about where's Sims 3 Warrior Cats, where's Untold Tales going to be? Just be patient. We have some big summer events coming up. Summer in space, summer of the wolves with Wolf Quest. But I have not forgotten about Untold Tales. I think it will always be a reoccurring thing. It's just going to have a little bit of a break. We're going to have a big rush for the rest of May. And then we're going to have a little bit of a break and focus on our Sims 3 Warrior Cats and its bonus episodes. And then shift into Cat Tales for a little bit. So I just wanted to let you guys know that's where Untold Tales is probably going to be. But for the next few days, we're going to enjoy it. And I hope you guys are really looking forward to cattails um i might have something really special that's cattails related to show you this weekend so be sure to keep your eyes on a very interesting update vlog coming up so i'll see you guys next time Bye bye